Welcome everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a child theme so that you can make customizations to a existing theme. In this case, 2015 will be the one I'm customizing. But you don't risk losing this information when uh, an update to the, the parent theme is released. What generally happens is you use a theme and the theme developer will push updates as they they make them but every time an update is pushed any customizations you make to that theme will automatically be lost so the reason um, you want to create a child theme of course is to take the benefits of them updating that theme and still apply your changes or overrides to that theme or modifications so let's get started I've got 2015 theme open and what I want to do here is actually uh, edit the background color of this little pagination button. So there's actually a couple steps I need to do. The first step is to create a style.css file and uh, create the background color. This is going to create a orange background. The next thing I want to do is create functions.php so that I can um, re-enqueue the template directory um, I'm sorry, re-enqueue the parent theme's style sheet. And uh, that way my style sheet will override this one, but it will still be included. Uh, the reason you have to re-enqueue this is because anything with the same st uh, the s same file name in a child theme replaces the parent theme's name. So for instance, we're going to take a look at the 2015 theme here. It's named style.css, but so is my modified style right here. So I need to create this uh, little function here that will get the template directory uh, URL, and it will uh, basically enqueue style.css so that that will um, load first, and then my modifications will load second. So um, I'm going to go back one folder here, and I've got 2015 child LBP already set up. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now right now we don't have anything in this folder. So what we want to do is create two files. We're going to create, uh, first of all, the style sheet. I'm going to copy and paste this in here. Save that file. It's very important that you uh, save backups of everything you're doing. So, of course, I have all my work saved on my computer. Um, in this case, I am uh, accessing my web server by SSH, but you will probably find it easier to work on it through um, an FTP program. So what we're going to do is look at the 2015 style. So we've got 2015 child by Linux Book Pro. When I activate this, we're going to see that there's a bit of a mistake here. And that is all the styles are not showing up. The reason being is because my theme has a file in there, style.css, which is replacing the parent theme's file, style.css. So what you could do is copy and paste all the styles from the original theme or, better yet, you want to enqueue these things, uh, enqueue the original styles. So that's what I'm going to be doing here, is I'm going to be uh, creating a little uh, style, <laughs> aptly named style name, I'll show you that in the source code later, getting the template directory URI, that's the parent directory's URL, and then slash style to uh, tell it to grab the style sheet name. And it's going to enqueue it, so what we need to do is we need to create this file. So I've got open up nano again whoops okay so we've got an empty file name here so let's go ahead and copy and paste this in here save and you can see that functions.php is in there And when I go to reload the page, it didn't work. I'm not sure why. Let's uh, let's take a look. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at the source code, shall we? So 
So we got 2015. It's trying to in include 2015, but I must have a typo here. So let's take a look at my code really quick. And there's my typo. That little uh, comma right there. That is, uh, what I need to do is use a period and that will um, um, string it together. So let's save that again locally and I'm going to uh, replace the file here. Always helps to see somebody make a mistake uh, in real time. And so you see that now my styles have just showed up with um, re re refreshing. And um, look at that. I've got that orange box right where I wanted. Now the, uh, the hover effect isn't there. That's because I didn't make the, uh, the background style change conditional to um, being active or not. But you can see that I did exactly what I told it to do. And in this case, that would be to change the background style to orange. And that's pretty much all there is in creating a child theme. Now, before I finish, I wanted to give you guys a quick warning. Whenever you're editing functions.php, you want to be very, very careful. So I'm going to show you what not to do, and I'm going to break functions.php. So uh, let's do something very, very dangerous. Now, when I go to reload this page, it is undoubtedly going to, it did not break. Why didn't it break? Even when I try to break things, I can't seem to do it. Okay. Well, let me do something else there. That should do it. So um, what I did here is I broke my theme. Now, don't worry. The website still exists. Um, it's just that the theme is broken because of that missing semicolon. Now, what you want to be able to do is always have access to your web server when you're editing functions.php because it is the most powerful part of a theme. It can control your front end and your back end. So in my case, I'm going to... Um, remove this, reboot my, uh, refresh my page. And so I've got my website back. What I actually will need to do now is to re enqueue it like I showed you guys before with the working version of the code. Paste this guy in here, save the file reload my web page. So I don't know if you noticed it before I reloaded, but the background color was orange down there at the bottom. Um, so if you rewind the video, you can see that. Um, let me show you, actually, let me remove the file again. So you'll see when I don't enqueue the styles, the only style it had to work with was the next page background style on styles.css. That is, again, because it is replacing style.css from the, uh, the parent theme. Now, it is required to have style.css in a child theme. Now, if you don't want to enqueue the style sheet, you could always do a simple um, uh, style sheet uh, import. But in this case, I think enqueuing is a little bit better. I've heard that it's faster and it's just a better practice to enqueue um, rather than um, do an include. I don't know. I'm not that much of a professional. So anyway, let's. Uh, fix, that's uh, that's how you create a child theme. Really quick and easy, and it's a great way to um, to really hack about in WordPress and get a lot of cool work done. Anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.